everybody, it is Brandon from Cypher Hosting. Today we're going to be going over how to install Pterodactyl on a VPS server. You can get yourself a VPS server down on cypherhosting.com forward slash VPS dash hosting. Here you can see the plans uh, with pretty fair prices, unlimited bandwidth, plenty of RAM, uh, stuff like that. Um, we have storage, plenty of space for you guys. So, if you're interested, make sure to get down to get some high speed, good quality VPS servers at the right price. So, let's get on to the tutorial. So, we're going to be on my VPS here. It uh, should be all reset back to factory so we can get into this. So, I'm going to be using Mobile X10 for this. Um, I'll leave a link in down in the description. This is what I personally like to use because it also has a FTP built into it so it's easy to do any file editing anything like that um, so if we go to here SSH I'm um, pretty sure you guys will know how to do this um, but if not follow through or go check one of the guides that will be on the website and uh, do this it's gonna probably use the old password the FTP on the side uh, so I'm going to be following a guide on the side of um, installation guide of how to do this I will leave this in the description to our knowledge base where you can also access this and follow through basically a lot of it is just copy and paste so just follow through as I go installing anything every like I say every command is going to be down there and we'll be troubleshooting any common errors that will come through um, such so as things like this so first thing you do want to do uh, usually you might get this error um, depending on how fresh of an install it is uh, but with this error it's just basically wanting us to update all of our reposit uh, repositories so we're just going to do apt dash get space update and that's going to get all our new repositories for us and get our service up to date now we can run that command again as you can see successful and we will just work our way through so anyone who is new to pterodactyl pterodactyl allows you to host any type of game servers they've got a wide range uh, such as minecraft rust garris mod kind of all the things you can run servers on shall I say um, so it's pretty handy it's all self-hosted and you can run it all through yourself uh, with our vps hosting ports are automatically forwarded so does not require you guys to do anything yourself in terms of ports you can just go in set up what you need create servers and the ports will be there ready for you obviously you'll need to add the locations yourself but there will be no additional port forward needed to get access to them ports from your game server uh, so we're just going through all the commands right now like I say it's just copy and paste and download independences and getting our way through the whole system and then we'll get into the web panel and get that set up there will be a step by step guide on the description which will be through our knowledge base which like I say will give you all these commands a breakdown of what the commands do just in case you guys feel a bit lost in the video and can't keep up some may take a while, it depends how fast your server is personally. Um, bandwidth is all unlimited kind of thing, so speed, internet speed sh should fairly be equal as to mine. Um, I am running mine on one of the lower machines, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it should be all fair, should also take the same time and stuff like that. One thing that is good about Cypher hosting is that we have pretty much 24-7 support. I mean if you guys run into any troubles, anything's not working, nothing's installing, anything like that, you'll have those guys on the side ready to help you. Uh, we've got a brilliant team behind us, some experienced people who know what they're doing and they'll be more than happy to assist you guys with anything you need. So right now we're just creating the repositories, so the pterodactyl, this is where now the 
panel B installed after we've just done all of our dependencies and stuff like that so should be getting moving on pretty quickly here now uh, wow. so now we're going to set up the database so with the database it's a bit less of copy and paste uh, you've got to do a bit of editing yourself so such as your password if you want to change the username so in my sake I'm going to keep it as your password but if you want to change it you just highlight the last comma delete it all and uh, input your password etc so I'm just going to put in the password now and then that's that make sure you do remember your password because you'll need this later on when syncing this up to the panel Keep selecting too much and keep getting rid of my clipboard. So after that, just do exit and we're back to this. And now it's time just to install everything we need to get the what's it say? Get the web panel. Um, pretty simple. So this is your first one, environment. Uh, so these are all your eggs. So all your game server setups. Usually, I just time zone. You can skip all this. You can skip. Just press enter on it all, and it will complete. And then this one, database. So everything was set to local host panel. Panel. So your password. Uh, pass. There we go. And then the email service. Uh, we want to do ch -ch 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 mail. all this is just so it's set up and then migrate and then we're going to make our first user so now that is done as you can see it's created all of our games so bungee code these are all your minecraft bungee code forge sponge paper vanilla you've got source engine so insurgency counter strike source engine uh, team fortress guys mod arc survival and then voice servers team speak mumble and then you've got your rust now we're going to go into making the user we do want to make this user an administrator this is going to be your account for initially getting into it so i'm going to do brandon at cypherhosting.com username brandon b brandon b password make sure you remember this you may get this this is just basically saying this is just something to do with your mailing um, I'm not going to go through how to set up the mailing because it's a lot of a longer process uh, but you guys can find out how online how to do it if you do get this error the user has been created it was just unable to send the email with all the information to that user um, so don't need to worry about that as long as we remember the details we just imported we'll be fine uh, so now we've got to do some file editing so if you put in the pseudo contract it will ask you to if it's your first installation it'll ask you to pick which editing document you want i'm going to use nano which is option one brief simple this one so i'm going to use that and then it'll open up this document if you copy the line we need to paste in here go all the way down and uh, right click and it'll paste it in Control o to write it out press enter Control x to exit and then we need to do CD, which basically takes us to that folder. And then we do nano, and then that. And then we copy and paste, and drag that in, write it out, close it, and then that's that saved. And now we're going to enable our Redis. Looks all good, no errors. And then we are now going to enable the pterodactyl service. Done. So that's that done. Now it's just on to getting our what you might call it, our website up. So first we want to delete the default. This is using Nginx. Um I prefer Nginx, that's a lot simpler. Then we're gonna cd into this directory. Uh, we are then going to nano this. I might be saying nano this, do this, do that. 
a lot uh, but if you guys follow the guide at the same time it should be all cushy for you guys uh, so server name you want to put your domain in so in this situation if you've not used a domain you just want to use your IP uh, you'll paste your IP in here so for me it's 198.186 etc going on but for me I'm using my domain so it's going to be panel.utilizations.net and then you just want to write it out and then exit and then that's that done and then we just got to put that into our sites enabled and then restart our nginx and then that is that done alright then guys so I was just messing about with my domain um, but I've got it linked to another website at the moment and it's kind of crossing over so I can't really be faffing about with that so we are just going to log into our account um, and carry on with the tutorial without the domain for now um, but as you can see I've just put the IP in and it's come straight to the web panel and then I've just logged in with the user we created uh, so next thing is setting up the wings so this is setting up your nodes everything like that uh, and again that sorted That. and then carry on with what we were doing back to copy and pasting for a little bit and then we can go back to some configurations and then we can get sorted this command usually does take a little bit longer so just give it time and it will eventually go through alright then it's gone through now so we can now enable our docker which doesn't take long at all and then we can make some more directories for our wings uh, uh, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. Right now, onto the fun part. So let's get this set up. So we want to cd into our directory, and we want to nano into our configuration file. We then want to go to our web panel, click on the admin, go to locations, set this to main, and then I leave that empty. Press create node create a node main node uh, location level up and then set that to that our fdnq is going to be our ip so we'll just grab that from there paste that in there uh, total memory 4000 megabytes set low clock disk space 20 one two three uh, disk location port port create node IP address ports. So I'm gonna add my Minecraft port now two five five six five, just so it's there. Uh, we want to go into a configuration. We want to grab that, paste that in there, write it out, exit, and then go back to copy paste. Then we're gonna debug it. So this is just gonna take uh, syntax error redirection unexpected. So where did I paste the wrong? Uh, where have we gone wrong here yeah. then? Config. Okay then, so basically what's happened, because I tried doing it with a domain, uh, it's kind of gone all skewy and weird. Uh, so we're just going to act like it works um, and just go with it. Obviously it won't work for me, but um, for you guys it will, as long as you don't do what I did. If you just use an IP. Um, unless you know what you're doing with domains, they're a bit finicky sometimes. Uh, so yeah, you basically paste your config into nanoconfig.yml, write it out, save it, you run debug, uh, you can go back to here, click nodes, and that should be a green heart. Um, if that all worked, then you can go back to your file, and then set it up to run on its own so currently it'll be running when you come back in here just press ctrl c and it'll stop it uh, we want to cd into here and then we want to nano into wings.service and then we want to go to here here write it out and to exit and then you want to system enable now wings uh, and then you want to do that and then you should be all good with that then now
and then you come back to here and it'll be a green heart um, so then to get servers up so we were going to do minecraft you'd go to the admin go to servers create name minecraft uh, server owner uh, you set that to your name and then you would put your port in that you've selected on your node database limit edit all these how you want I'm just going to put these all to zero so CPU limit is how much CPU you would want it to use I usually set that to zero just to allow it to use as much as it needs and then set that to zero memory is how much memory you want to do in megabits so if you want to use 4 gigs you put 4000 etc and swap is how much extra you'll get um, stuff like that. I usually set that to zero just so it doesn't use more than it should disk space uh, in megabits again so 20 gigabytes with 20,000 um, it's just the limitation how much and then next you want to press minecraft you can pick what you want so if you use using this as a network bungee cord or if you just use it for a no, normal thing uh, mod packs you can use forge but I'm going to use a normal so so paper um, and then that's that you would then create your server um, it's going to say that for me because my node's not up but after that you'll be all set to go uh, you'll come back to here you'll see a server it'll install and it will be all good you'll see your IP on the left hand side right hand side should I say and you could connect straight away as soon as the server's up from then um, but yeah that's how to do pterodactyl on a VPS I know it's a bit finicky and I know I've kind of ruined the tutorial a bit um, on my end uh, but it was stupid of me to try to go for a domain because I didn't really realise it was going to collide with my website um, so if anyone has any questions feel free to open a support chat uh, on your panel you will see a live support button in the bottom right you feel free to talk to us whenever you want or you can open a ticket through the billing panel um, and then you're not sat waiting around on a live chat you can come back to your computer whenever you wish to get a reply I hope this helped you guys I'm sorry if it's all finicky again um, like I say in the description is going to be the written guide on this um, so that might be a bit easy to understand but I just thought for them visual learners they can have this um, just to kind of break down what's happening and stuff like that um, thank you very much for watching I hope this helped um, and yeah I'll see you guys around peace